This video is an introduction to the 2025 Science Buddies Engineering Challenge. Inspired by recent advances in spaceflight, the goal of this year's challenge is to build a device to catch a falling rocket so it lands vertically. There are many different ways to tackle this challenge, and this video shows just a few examples. You can be creative and try out your own ideas. Just like with real rockets, your design probably won't work perfectly on the first try, so this is a great way to learn about the engineering design process. The basic idea is that the farther your rocket falls and the less material you use, the higher your score will be. But you can only use certain materials to build your device, and you have to follow certain rules to enter your design in the challenge. This video will provide an overview, but the complete challenge details, rules, eligibility, and entry information are available on the Science Buddies website. First, let's talk about the materials. The standard rocket body must consist of a single cardboard paper towel tube, or three cardboard toilet paper tubes taped together end to end, or a single sheet of paper, printer, graph, construction, or notebook paper, rolled into a tube that is the same length and diameter as a cardboard paper towel tube. To build your device, you can use the following construction materials. Each material has a point cost associated with it that is subtracted when calculating your score. You can use up to 40 sheets of paper. Printer, construction, graph, and notebook paper are allowed in letter, A4, 9 by 12 inch, or 22 by 30 centimeter sizes. Cardstock and newspaper are not allowed. Paper has a cost of three points per sheet rounded up to the nearest whole sheet. So if you cut a piece of paper in half and only use half of it, that still counts as an entire sheet. You can use one sheet of cardboard up to 12 by 12 inches or 30 by 30 centimeters. This cardboard can only be used as a horizontal base plate to support your device and make it easier to pick up and move around it cannot be cut into smaller pieces. The sheet of cardboard has a cost of five points. You can use up to 10 meters of string. Any type up to three millimeters in diameter is allowed, such as dental floss, fishing line, cotton string, twine, yarn, or thread. String has a cost of two points per meter, rounded up to the nearest whole meter. You can use up to 20 paper clips. Any size up to 2 inches or 50 millimeters in length is allowed. They can be any material, coated or non-coated. Paper clips have a cost of 1 point each. Finally, you can use up to one roll of clear office tape, masking tape, or painter's tape with a maximum width of 1 inch or 2.54 centimeters. Other tapes like duct tape, packing tape, and electrical tape are not allowed. Tape is free meaning it has a cost of zero points for the roll. You can use pencils, scissors, and a ruler, meter stick, and or tape measure as tools to help build your device. Other tools like power tools, 3D printers, and laser cutters are not allowed. Neither is any type of glue. Please see the written instructions on the Science Buddies website for a table with all of the information about materials, size restrictions, and point costs all in one place. Now for the rules. Rule number one. The rocket must start above the rocket catching device and be dropped into or onto the device. It cannot be thrown or launched upward. Rule number two. The rocket and the rocket catching device must be separate. They cannot be touching or attached to each other at the start. Rule number three. The rocket catching device must be freestanding on the ground or floor. It cannot be attached to the ground or floor or to any other supporting object or surface, such as a wall or furniture. It cannot start in the air with the rocket. Rule four. You may not remove material from the standard rocket body. Rule five. You may attach materials from the approved list to the rocket body. Anything that is attached to the rocket body counts as part of the rocket and must follow all of the other rules. Any materials you use to modify the rocket body count towards your total material cost. Rule 6. No part of the rocket may touch the ground or any other objects, such as walls or furniture, during a test. Rule 7. Your rocket catching device must catch the rocket on its own. After the rocket has been dropped, nobody can touch the rocket or the rocket catching device 
or somehow assist the device in catching the rocket. Rule 8. After all parts have completely stopped moving, the lowest point of the rocket, including all attachments, must be at least 10 centimeters from the floor. Rule 9. After all parts have completely stopped moving, the rocket's main body must be vertical. Vertical is defined as an angle at least 45 degrees from horizontal, as shown here. And finally, Rule 10. You must complete two successful drops in a row from the same start height with the same rocket and the same rocket catching device. Repairs in between trials are allowed. Again, please see the written instructions on the Science Buddies website for the complete list of rules all in one place. Next, let's talk about scoring. Your score is defined as your rocket's fall distance in centimeters minus your total materials cost. The fall distance is the vertical distance between the lowest point on the rocket, including any attachments at the start, to the highest point on your device. The total materials cost is the sum of the point values of all materials used in your final design, including anything attached to the rocket. Materials used in earlier prototypes do not count. So, for example, you could add to your device to make it easier to catch your rocket with a bigger fall distance, but that's going to increase your materials cost. You'll have to think about this trade-off in your design. A scoring worksheet to help you calculate your score, and a separate video with example measurements and score calculation are available on the Science Buddies website. If you have a separate question that was not covered in this video, please see the FAQ section of the written instructions. Good luck and have fun with the 2025 Science Buddies Engineering Challenge.